and I am from the Management Study Guides content team. Welcome to the program, Production, Planning and Control. Radisson Polymers is a leading manufacturer of molded plastic containers, bottles, etc. There are various raw materials that are required for manufacturing the plastic containers. The chief raw material required is pellets or nurdles, which are pre-production plastic raisin pellets. Radisson sources these pellets from two main large suppliers through alternate schedules. The manufacturing process involves various stages which are interdependent on each other. Radisson has a very high production capacity which is completed every day to meet the demands. Kirk Lawson is the production manager at Radisson Polymers. He is responsible for ensuring that the plant meets the production capacity on a daily basis. Kirk also has to ensure the quality of the products manufactured at the plant. These products need to meet Radisson's stringent quality standards. However, the different manufacturing stages are interdependent upon each other. Due to this, the later stages of the process remain idle for a few hours at the beginning of the day. As a result, the production capacity falls short of the required volume. Also, another problem at the plant is that many of the molded plastic products have air bubbles in them. These air bubbles make the molded plastic products a defective product. Kirk will need to ensure proper production planning and control so that the production capacity is met. Also, the production control aspect will help him ensure that the products get molded without defects. Production planning and control address many fundamental problems of manufacturing. It helps resolve issues of low productivity, inventory management, quality control and resource utilization. Hence, for efficient working of the plant, focus needs to be on production, planning and control. Let us learn about production planning and control in detail. Let's take a look at the objectives that we are going to cover during this program. In this module, you will understand what is meant by production and what is production planning. You will also learn what is production control and the objectives of production control. This program will describe external factors affecting planning and control. It will also explain other functions in production planning and control. You will also learn how to improve planning and control efficiency and how to measure success of planning and control. This program will help you list the benefits of production planning and control and it will also list the challenges of production planning and control. Let's begin. So production planning is one aspect of production planning and control dealing with basic concepts of what to produce, when to produce and how much to produce, etc. It involves taking a long-term view at the overall production planning. Here are the elements of production control. Production control involves controlling various components such as materials, planning, quantity, activities, production schedules. Here are the external factors affecting production planning and control. Number one, economic environment. Number two, legal environment. Number three, technological environment. Number 4. Competitive Environment Let's take a look at each of these factors in detail. The Production Planning and Control Management System carries out the following functions. Inventory Front Functions Operations Front Functions Cycle Count Process Reporting Function People People are very important assets for efficient production planning and control operations. Human resources can be the strongest and the weakest link in production planning and control. Even in a highly automated and system control design, production planning and control are heavily dependent upon people to run and manage operations. Measuring success of planning and control Well, it is crucial that you measure the results of your production planning and control efforts. Following are the crucial components that you should base your measurements on. 
Number one, delivery. Check for the number of deliveries scheduled against the actual number of deliveries made. Also, keep a tab of the number of deliveries that got delayed. Number two, production and operations management. Compare the planned against the actual production, which will indicate the success level of your production planning and control efforts. Benefits of production planning and control. Production planning and control is an essential ingredient for success of an operation unit. The benefits of production planning and control are It ensures that optimum utilization of production capacity is achieved by proper scheduling of the machine items, which reduces the idle time as well as overuse. It ensures that inventory level is maintained at optimum levels at all time, that is, there is no overstocking or understocking.